What if I told you your AOM Thor could boot straight into the actual Nintendo 3DS menu? Not a skin, not a launcher, the real deal. Functional home screen, Mii makers, gift boxes and game installs. Everything working on your AOM Thor or actually any Android device. Yeah, this changes the way you experience Nintendo 3DS games on this device completely. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to make that happen. We're starting fresh from scratch. Step one, download the 3DS home pack linked down below. It's a .rar file where everything you need is there to get that juicy 3DS experience running on your handheld. Once you unzip it, you'll find a folder called pack 3DS home. Inside there are three key files, including the Azahar plus APK. Copy that whole folder to your AYN Thor internal or SD card, that's your call to make, to make this process easier. If you have Azahar, just uninstall it beforehand. You could have Azahar run next to this with a different app called Azahar Coexist, but I won't use it really, so I've deleted it. Okay, files are ready. Let's move on to the install. Once the APK is installed, launch Azahar Plus. Grant all the permissions, it's just basic Android stuff. Next, it will ask you to store your user data. If you used Azahar before, point it to your old folder to recover your save files. If not, create a new one. I named mine Azahar and stored it on the SD card. Then it will ask you where your ROM files are. But honestly, you can skip that one for now. We will be installing .cia games instead, which is a way cleaner and more authentic way. Got that done? Cool. Now we'll dive into the fun part, tweaking the emulator to make it feel like an actual 3DS. Hit the three dots in the top right and then go to settings. Under gamepad, start mapping your buttons. Super important, assign something to the home button that will return you to the 3DS menu. I use LR since it doesn't exist on the real 3DS and it doesn't interfere with gameplay. If you want to fast forward, and trust me, you do, map Turbo to R3. It's perfect for grinding RPGs or getting through really slow intros. Next, the graphics settings. Set the API to Vulkan and then bump the internal resolution to 4x. It looks gorgeous and runs super smooth on the AYN Thor. One more tweak. Go to layout, set landscape screen mode to single screen and set secondary display to bottom screen. Boom, perfect 3DS layout. This is where the magic happens. First, close the emulator completely. Then open your file manager and go to the Azahar folder you created earlier. Inside, delete the folder called sysdata. Trust me, this is critical. Now go back to the 3DS home pack. Copy its sysdata folder and paste it into your emulator folder. Open Azahar Plus again and tap the three buttons and go to system files. Here's where you download the actual 3DS system. Choose new 3DS and then pick your region. USA if you're in the Americas and EUR if you're in Europe. Why does region matter? Because if your firmware is USA and your games are from the EU or vice versa, they won't show up in the menu. It's all gotta match. Once it finishes downloading, hit start. And if you did everything right, you're about to see the full 3DS menu running on your AYN Thor. Are you ready? Right now, launching the menu takes too many steps, so let's fix that. Go back to System Files, then tap Show Home Menu Apps. That displays installed apps, but you won't see the system itself yet. Now, tap Select, Application Folder, and then Navigate through Azhar. Inside that, if you're using the USA firmware, open up 00008F02. You install the European version? Well, then you open 00009802. Go into the content folder and select it. Back in the app list, you'll see a new broken looking icon. Long press it and a shortcut option appears. Name it 3DS Home, set a custom icon if you want, there is one included in the pack, and add it to your Android home screen. Now you can boot directly into the 3DS menu, just like a native Android app. That's pretty clean, right? Now, let's get your game showing up. Inside the emulator, tap Options, then select Install CIA File. Choose any of the .cia files that you have, but remember, it has to match your system's region. Install a mismatched game, and again, it won't appear. I installed Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, and once it finished, I launched the 3DS menu from my shortcut, and there it was, wrapped in a gift box, just like the real hardware. From there, everything works as expected. Boot games, return to the menu, suspend them, launch another, the full 3DS experience, 
on your AYN Thor. And that's it. You've officially transformed your AYN Thor into a real Nintendo 3DS. Not just emulated gameplay, but the full menu, the OS, the vibes. It's way more immersive than scrolling through a list of ROMs. So now I've got to ask, what's the first game you are going to install? Drop it in the comments down below. If you're rocking the AYN Thor or any other handheld, tell me how it runs. I'm really curious what devices can pull this off the best. If you like content about the AYN Thor, please subscribe and like to see more videos. Next video will be in 2026. I want to thank you all for the amazing 2025 and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.